Hey, um, this is MacHeads101. My name is Jake. Welcome to your 8th Java GUI tutorial. And today I'm going to be talking about images um, that you can put into your window. And I'm just going to be talking about how to put images onto your window because in the next tutorial I'm going to be talking about how to do frame by frame animation. So right now I'm just going to show you how to load an image on there so that we can actually start doing frame by frame animation. So, the first thing we have to do is import an image file, import file system, and browse because it's in a directory and it's called examine your. So, open and I'm just going to get all those frames because we are going to be animating with these specific frames that I have prepared in next tutorial. So I might as well import them all now and browse and I'm going to import them into the projects which is what we're working with. Finish. Yes. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to make a private image icon image. And that image icon is going to be our image. And here's the thing, we have to do this and if you, oh, by the way, if you haven't noticed, I made it extend J panel because this is not going to be a frame. The J panel, um, we can draw graphics and images onto, and then we actually, in our main method, create a J frame and add the J panel to it so we can have our graphics and images and things like that. So to be drawing graphics and images, we need this method public void paint component, and it takes a graphics. And I'll just call that G. And super dot paint component G and super, by the way. Um, what this means is you're going, super just means the super class. So, like, we're extending J panel. Um, so now, image equals new image icon. And, um, we just put the name of, in quotes, of uh, the icon we're going to be using because, and the reason we imported it is because otherwise we'd have to be reading files from our computer and stuff, and that's um, more complicated, and also if you sent this to someone, you'd have to rely on that um, image being on their system, which it probably won't be. So frame one dot png and that's gonna just be one of the frames so image icon then gets that frame that we imported frame one dot png and that's in quotes and now image dot uh, paint icon this which is image so we're gonna be painting this using graphics g and X and Y are the coordinates of it, and I'll put it at zero, zero, okay? So it's going to paint um, this icon, this, with the graphics G at location zero, zero, and that's how we draw the image. And let me just get my um, class with the main method up here because it's not right now. So as you can see, there's all our stuff, Mac heads. Okay, so here's really all we need to do is create that image and then um, give it a value and then paint it into the J panel. So do a second s equals new second. It doesn't extend J frame anymore, so we actually have to make the J frame. J frame f equals new J frame f dot add s f dot set size 600 400 okay. oh yeah 600 400 set um, default close operation and set visible Okay, and now I'm just going to run this, and you'll see image icon. 
All right, there we go. And that is the first frame of the animation, which is um, this guy eating a cheeseburger. And so that was um, frame one. And I drew it at z um, zero, zero, by the way. It means that corner. So that's the... Um, Zero, zero means the top left corner of my image is going to be at zero, zero, which is that point right there in the top left corner. And yeah, so uh, in the next tutorial, we are going to be using those frames to create an animation. So thank you for watching MacHeads 101. Subscribe and goodbye.